What to try and two it was. Can I don't know if it's a then I'm bear up to us always the rats. If you look at it in Zimbabwe, we've got something like 5 million cattle and 4 million of those are owned by the communal people. And yet we say they are poor. If you put a value of even $300 on to one cattle, they, they, they are into billions. So that's a resource which is not being utilized. The farmers just have the cattle. They don't have they don't have any leeway to access anything. They can't securitize them, they can't do that. Unless they sell the cattle, then they get money out of it. But you see that the cattle is that animal is already gone. But without selling they can't they can't access anything. So we are giving them a chance to 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 get onto the financial systems and be able to have financial inclusion. The obvious benefits that's that by giving us their cattle, they've taken away the need to, to head the cattle themselves. In some areas, the amount of grazing is getting lower and lower, and the animals, you can see they are suffering. Yes, yes, no, that come my right and boy, do no. No, to one of the queen, the Saka TN, Zerinan, no, to Puno, no, for Jack, which I can We look after them properly. Uh, world standards uh, cattle management systems. We, uh, to begin with, we breed them properly. We do everything: dosing, vaccinations, everything, according to proper standards. And they have to be productive. That's the that's the whole essence of it. Where we look after them very well, those cattle have to be remain very productive. Or they have to be more productive than what they are when they are with the farm. <laughs>